Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Maynard from Civil Center and I'm back with another video tutorial on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss how to design punching shear and how to apply punching shear checks in Tecla Structural Designer. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So friends, as you can see, this is a building model which consists of flat slabs and all the loadings have been applied and designed. Now we are going to apply some punching shear checks in this structure. So I'm going to go to our first slab level and after going here we can go to your design and we have the option of your punching check. So for applying the punching check we can either select a particular column or we can even select two columns at once by dragging. So after doing so we can analyze the model once again so after having analyzed the model once again we can go to design and then we can click on design punching shear so after clicking on design punching shear the results will be visible now if we want we can just simply click this and right click and we can check the particular check for punching shear so as you can see it is showing some warning let's see what is this warning is for so we can toggle deep into the warning and it's showing the shear reinforcement should be provided or else a drop or increase in the slab thickness can be given so we'll follow this so we'll go to our particular option of model and we have the option of column drops here you can just select up to the size of the column drops which you want to provide so this is basically a thickened slab and we have provided the column drops to two, these two columns in which warnings were showing and after that we can go to your design all static and we can design punching shear once again and after that we can just right click and see the results now we can see the column drop has been designed for the punching shear and the columns are safe for punching shear if we want we can also select this and right click on it and click on report for member so by clicking on report for the member we can find the detailed report of all the checks which have been done so friends this was all about design of punching shear and how to apply punching shear checks in Tecla Structural Designer. We'll come up with more videos till then stay tuned to our channel and if you want professional training on Tecla Structural Designer or any other course related to civil engineering you can check out the link which has been given in the description you can fill the google form and select your course and our team will get back to you. Bye bye.